Hello horror fans, and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. In this episode, I'm going to work on the killer challenge, Knockout, where I have to knock down 12 survivors. And since Pyramid Head just came out yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and use him for this challenge. So I don't have all the perks unlocked yet on him or leveled up, but I'm going to use what I do have. So we're going to use Barbecue and Chili, which gives added blood points and allows me to see somebody across the map whenever I hook some survivor. I'm going to use Dying Light, which gives a penalty to repair healing and sabotage speeds for each non-obsession survivor that I hook. I'm going to use Surveillance, which allows me to see the aura of a generator in white after I kick it, and then it'll turn back to red after it starts being worked on again, so I know where they're working. And Save the Best for Last, which allows me to have a quicker recovery from a basic attack for every non-obsession survivor I hit up until eight times. So with this in mind, let's jump into a match and see how Pyramid Head works. Alright, Adam Preschool. Now this is my first time using Pyramid Head, so I'm gonna have to get used to him a bit. He is a bit on the loud side, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, so we've got our first victim here. We've hit her, we saw somebody else. Evidently there are two people there. And we got her knocked down. So we've at least got our first knockdown. That's a good thing. Just put a trail right through this building. All right, we hit her. We hit him. We have the damage from the generator. Oh, all right. And they jumped right back on the generator. That's unfortunate. Oh, we got our second person down. So that works out. Now, the question I have with this particular challenge is, does it count each knockdown I get, or just per person in the game? So, in other words, can I only get three in total, or, or I mean, four in total, or will I be able to get more in this particular game? It'd be nice if I could get more. Alright, I know I saw somebody around this area. Yes, 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 I'll chase you. Alright. I would rather hit her with the ability if I could, so that way I'm not wasting my stacks of uh, save the best for last. And 
and I know there's a fang creeping around here. But I don't know where she's gone. There she is! Alright. has tenacity. She was crawling quite quickly there. Alright, we can see the person over there. I'd rather go after the Yui here. two people in that basement and one person in this basement over here. I'm going to try to stop the two working on the generator though if I can. Alright, we're back after the fang. I guess that's alright. I do like the fact that you can sort of use the ability to also force people to not go to pallets and jumps. They see you put the blade in the ground and they don't want to be hit with it. So instead they avoid. Alright, and this person's back over here at this gen. Nice. Let's go ahead and send him to the Cage of Atonement. That worked out perfectly. Oh, they put him right over there on the other side by where those people are. Alright. working on this generator and I'm having trouble hitting her with the shots so I also want to ensure that they don't get this generator done if I can help it and I have not kicked it so all right she did get it done but she also got tormented because of it Let's go ahead and carry you to a nice place so we can see the final judgment. Nice.
All right, so we've got two generators there. At this point, I'm not gonna worry too much about her. If I hit her and I lose my stacks, I'm not really even gonna worry. Oh. All right. Turning with this is very hard. But all right. I'm going over here because I know the bill is going to be over here. There he is. I have to say, personally, surveillance might be my favorite perk. It really lets you know sort of where a person is, what they're doing, everything of that nature. She'll get that generator done, but that's all right. I'll get the bill down. And killed. And then if she escapes, she escapes. We'll have to see. Let's see if it's down in the basement. It is not. All right, then. Not in the middle of the street either, so it's probably in the shack or in the house. No. Interesting. I'm not sure where it is then. She went ahead and did the generator. Interesting. She got it. And it did give me 10 knockdowns. Nice. So I only need more. Not bad at all. All right. Thompson House. We already found somebody, so that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and chase after her. Oh. All right. As I said, I'd love to be able to bait the, uh, the use of the weapon. As it really does, uh, it really allows you to get them to not throw pallets and such, so it's not even being able to hit through objects, but simply just being able to make them worry about an object. Oh, 
Alright. Don't know where this person went to, but I will leave. Not fair to them to be sticking around them. why it didn't. Oh. That one did, so that works out fine. Oh. Yeah. And I do uh. want to be hooking people right now, because I want to get my dying light up, uh. and I also want to uh, be getting my barbecue and chili. Alright, so we can see this person sort of going around this direction. Alright, no idea where they went to. We're after the Nancy again. Oh. As I said, it does seem like people just run away from objects more with him than they do against other killers. Oh. to stop that person. Oh. Alright, I need to go stop this person. I think at this point we've already accomplished our mission of knocking two people down. So I'm not too worried, but I do want to get some people if I can here. I don't really want him. Ah, but I do want him. two people over there and we know somebody was just here
And that should have gotten us our achievement. It did. Nice. Not sure why that girl jumped in the locker at the end, but I tried decently hard and I think I did a decent job at it, so I'm pleased with the results. And with that, we'll go ahead and claim knockout. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all in the fog.